Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at how a number of different Vula sites have used native Vula tools to encourage student interactivity in their courses. We'll begin with the Environmental and Geographical Sciences course in a module on air quality. Now on the screen you'll see we have an interview lecture over here with a number of different uh, access opportunities, downloading the video, the audio only version, and the transcript. Here is the video, and here is the transcript, here is the audio file. Now beneath this, the lecturer has added a comments section. This is a standard feature in the Lessons tool in Vula. Comments can be added wherever you want on a Lessons page. They are particularly valuable to insert directly after a video or a core reading to elicit student comments. And it's always advisable to start off with a comment from the lecturer, in this case Johanna, to start the conversation going. And you can see here we have a number of comments from different students about the videos and responses from Johanna to encourage student interactivity. The next site we're going to look at is an introductory Spanish course. Now, in this instance, what we have here is a lessons page, a gallery or galeria page, and you'll see on this page, students have created their own visual profiles, their names, their locations, or where they come from, what they study, and a visual representation of one of their hobbies, or themselves, or an instrument they play, or a little cartoon fox in one instance. This is an opportunity for students to get to know one another and express themselves and their own interests to build a sense of community amongst the classroom. Lastly, we're going to look at the Psychology 214S course. This course has used three tools, the Forums tool, the Q&A tool, and the chat room. You'll see here we have an extensive list of forums, one about the various different lecturers, and we have separate forums for each of the different tutorial groups and the different specific tutorials and questions related to those things. You'll see some of these have extensive lists of uh, messages. So tutorial 2 for Group 1 has 47 messages within that particular forum. Seeing strong engagement, um, although variable across different groups, in the forums tool. There is also an active Q&A section with 49 different questions. And you can see by the number of views and the kinds of questions that are being asked that there's a lot of engagement by students in this Q&A tool. So if we take a question at random, let's take this one, we have a question asked of the lecturer and answered, and that one was viewed over 20 times. So this is an example of a tool which is designed for questions and answers. Students can post a question or read responses to questions posted by other students. Lastly, in the course, you can see they have used the chat room we have an extensive chat room, 151 messages between the lecturer and various students. You can see that the lecturer here, Lynn, is answering his questions at quite a frequent interval. Secondly, we have other information from various tutors and supporting lecturers, and we have an active conversation happening in the chat room space. With all these tools, the forums tool, the Q&A tool, and the chat room, it is essential that these are live and active spaces. So please only use those ones you intend to update regularly or engage with on a frequent basis, so that students are not demoralized by posting in a tool and not receiving a response. 